On today's show, we're shining a spotlight on a creative writing club as well as a few important announcements for students. Today is Wednesday, December 15th, and BBN News starts now. Bull Sharks. I'm Trish. And I'm Marsha. And you're watching BBN, BBN News. To so start off our day, we turn our attention to our newest edition of Club Insider. This time, Ava Barrios will be bringing us along for a closer look at the Creative Writing Club. Creative Writing Club provides many with an opportunity to express themselves. They've come a long way since their first year. From a school magazine to a poetry night, they've grown tremendously. Today, we'll get a glimpse of their routine, goals for the future, and more. Take it away, Ava. Welcome back to Club Insider Bull Sharks. This week we're riding our way into our school's Creative Writing Club. I got to get the full scoop early today with Ms. Newsom. Let's take a look. So Creative Writing Club, we get together, we work on a spontaneous piece together. So there'll be some sort of writing prompt that we all work on at the same time. And it's new to each of us. Uh, we do this just to explore some creativity and it's fun to kind of jump into something new together. We yeah. also make sure that we are working on our digital magazine. This is something that we publish in-house. There are actually uh, previous volumes and editions available in our school website under the club section. And our more or most recent edition will be published during Christmas break. If you're interested in joining the club, you can just come to a meeting. We meet Thursdays after school from approximately 1.50 until 3 o'clock. And then we have our creative writing magazine magazine time where we're really working more on um, elements and aspects of publishing and how to put together some digital content, uh, editing, revisions, that sort of thing. And we save that for approximately 3 to 4 p.m. So it's almost like two clubs in one. But if you're interested in creative writing specifically, you're welcome to come just for the 50 minutes and join us in our creative writing endeavors. Thank you, Ms. Newsom. We hope to see you guys there on Thursdays at 1.50. Back to you guys. Thank you, Ava. Along with extravagant growth, Model UN attended their first conference of the year at Gulf Coast High School. Everyone performed exceptionally well in their committees as they represented their countries and characters. We still have space on the team for anyone interested in joining them for their next competition in March. Next, we have a crucial deadline for those in National Honor Society. Five volunteer hours are due by the end of the semester in order to remain in NHS. Please remember that you must get approval from Mrs. Gallipo before you, uh, before you volunteer. Otherwise, your hours will not count towards the five-hour quota. Once you've done that, share the document with Mrs. Gallipo and wait for a reply in your email. If you're not in the GC already, the code can be found below. Moving on, to prepare for our snowflake soiree, we'll be having a couple dress-up days leading to January 15th. Our days will include anything but a backpack day on Wednesday where you bring your school supplies in anything but a backpack. On Thursday, just as your favorite salad dressing where you dress differently based on your favorite salad dressing. With ranch fans dressing as cowboys, Caesar admirers in togas and sandals, blue cheese users in blue, house dressing enjoyers in our school colors, and French lovers in berets or fashionable clothes. And for our last day, we have a country versus country club day on Friday where you pick your side and dress in wealthy or western wear. One last announcement, tabletop gaming and creative careers won't meet Friday due to early dismissal. You all will be missed, but we hope you have a great break. With that, let's round off our show with our latest in sports action from the weight room, wrestling match, soccer field, and more. We now turn over to our second favorite sports anchor, Jay Yonkers, for this exciting coverage. And we are finally back. Once again, Jay Yonkers is here, your favorite sports anchor. Now let's start off this show with some exciting news. Esports are making it out their way to Benita Springs High School. Our IT specialist, Evan Simmons, will be coaching the team, preparing them for future competitions. They'll begin meeting once you return from break, but in the meantime, please join their Google Classroom where the code is somewhere down there below. As we learn more, BBM News will keep you posted. Now next up is our wrestling team who is hot this past weekend, placing fourth out of 16 teams in the Southwest Florida Christian Academy Classic. 
with Mateo Villalobo is placing first, Taj Van Hoo is placing second, Jordan Bivens placing third, and DJ Suchi placing third as well. The Bull Sharks left with their heads high and ready for their next match. Along with that, our cheer team, they blew the Northport Bobcat Cheer Classic out the water. Our girls took first place and did not disappoint the crowd and definitely showed up and showed out. Let's keep this momentum going, Lady Bull Sharks. Now, speaking of ladies, we got some girls basketball. Our ladies took the win over East Lee last night, 52 to 19. Great game for the ladies. Three of the Bull Sharks led the team in double digits in a great team win. They head to Golden Gate tomorrow and Lemon Bay for a district game on Friday to finish out their first half of the season. And now lastly, we can't forget about our soccer team and my boy Jose, who played Oasis. The fog made the field hard to see, but our Bull Sharks pulled through and beat Oasis 3-0. Good job, boys. And that's all for the sports today. Hey, let's run it back with our anchors. Thanks, Jay. And with that, we've come to the end of this edition of our show. That's all for the today, Bull Sharks. And remember, just, just keep, keep swimming. swimming.